Hi guys, and welcome back to another Dot Trace video, and today we're going to be playing Ride 4. We are here in Donington Park for part of the Ride 4 career mode, Millennium Corp. We're starting from 6th place in the grid, but of course, as you know, we're going to be waiting towards the back of the grid. Let everyone get through, so we can give this to Catty its run for its money, and absolutely thrash it around this very wet and sodden Donington Park. So big shout out to Sergio for making this delivery for me. He posted a picture, or I think Whizbang posted a picture in the Discord server, and Sergio did the rest and made this fantastic livery for me. I'm absolutely thrilled to bits with it. I think it's gorgeous. Oh, what a move though from Isaac Burns fighting back. Thought we were going to go for a two for one in that corner, but Isaac Burns had other plans. I'm sure we can go around the outside. This livery gives us at least an extra 30 brake horsepower. I'm sure we can dive up in the inside. A few more contact there between Charles Cooper and Dr. Ace, as Isaac Burns is now in receipt of 10th after Charles Cooper. I don't know what happened to him, but he certainly got bumped off the track somewhere. As we now close in on Sabina Ferry. So this is the first video I'm going to be doing that is post-update. Now all the bikes are somewhat quicker. Not massively quicker, but it, it is a little bit quicker. So bear that in mind that uh, from, from now on all the videos will be post-update. But it is good to see that AI is actually more competitive now because of the update on the regards to the acceleration. You can still pass them on the straights rel with relative ease. As we make a little bit of a mistake into turn one, if I do recall, I was letting the person on that gorgeous orange by there, Isabelle de Kock. We are going to let her get past her. I thought I picked her up in the corner, but never mind, she didn't want it anyway. So we'll continue push forward. Ray and Andrews in our side next. Oh, lovely slide from Ray and Andrews. We give him a bit of a shove up the rear. I wasn't expecting him to slide there on the Repsol. Oh my goodness, what a contact made again. It's Ray and Andrews, and I think he's actually crashed. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, speaking of crash, we almost went down ourselves as we chased down Peng Fang, the Chineseman, right here in Donington. Not uh, accustomed to this track or this weather, I'm sure, as we enter Coppice for the second time of asking. Yeah, ready to go around the outside of Peng Fang. Now, it's going to be the right hander, of course, because this is the national circuit, not the GP style. As we hold it right, we have Patricia Bouillon ahead of us. Rina, oh no. She'll be saying, oh no, in a minute when we pass her. It's just a matter of time. Just waiting for that moment as we continue to accelerate. Pass the start, finish. Breaking into turn one. Now, actually, I was still coming off GP bikes at this point, and I do feel that the update has made the, bra the brakes a little bit different in this game because you have to brake much earlier now compared to what you did. So there's a little bit of a relearning curve, but not much. As we think about a move up on the inside, forget about thinking, we're already making the move. Brilliant stuff. Up on the inside of Patricia Bouillon, the French lady. And we have two Japanese riders ahead of this British Grand Prix. We're going to be doing everything we can now to slow the pace, or slow them. And we'll continue our pace of thrashing through on this fantastic bike, the Ducati 1098R. It's stunning, absolutely stunning this bike. I really like it, really, really impressed. As we think about a move, are we going to go up on the inside, around the outside? Where are we going to go? On the brakes here? Not quite. Tackling Goddard for the third time as we go on the inside. That is a gorgeous... Oh, contact! Oh, heck. Massive contact. I think Kazoo went absolutely sliding there as Patricia Bouillon has taken over at the front. Gifted top spot of this race so far, but of course with two laps remaining... On this penultimate lap, she is not going to be holding on to that for much longer. We have a very determined Dr. Ace. I can't lose in the Martini livery. No way. Sergio took the time to make this for me, and we're going to take the time to win for the Sergio and for the Aces, of course. As we have a look at Patricia Bouillon around the outside, flick it back on the inside. That's gorgeous. That is stunning. Absolutely stunning. Like a young Burt Reynolds. We're absolutely loving it. Brilliant. Now up into McLean's. Yeah, this is ours. Call it curtains, ladies and gentlemen. Patricia Bouillon can't fight back after that. Donington GP. Oh my goodness, there's just so many overtaking opportunities. Today. I love this track so much. It is so good. I'm a huge fan. British tracks. Dr. Ace. Can you think of a better combination? Oh, I can. You subscribing and hitting that subscribe and like and comment button to Dr. Ace. That's an even better combination. Because all of us are going to be crashing through to a thousand subscribers or at least I hope it's going to be very soon so as always guys if you are enjoying the content be sure to like comment and subscribe but for the time being it is now the final lap of Donington National Circuit 
Patricia Bouillon in second, Rena Ono in third place, and I don't think they're going to catch us up. I'd be very surprised if they did. This is ours to lose at this point. We're up by three tenths per second compared to our fastest lap, which was a 107.710. And Donington GP, whether it's wet, dry, snowy, we're going to be winning this track. We love this track so much. And I must say, I'm very pleased to be back here in Donington. The update is pretty good so far. The AI has been more competitive. Shout out to the person in 12th there. They are miles behind. Not sure what's happened to them. Oh, a big slide on the uh, on the grass there. Also worth to mention that apparently these slides on the grass are a little bit more treacherous now. So if you do run off the track, you aren't going to be able to just slide it across like you used to be able to. So hopefully online racing will be more competitive. Fingers crossed as we give a big wheelie as we win here in Donington National Circuit. Brilliant stuff with a brilliant livery. So moving on now to Kanto. This is the south course. We'll be starting from sixth place on the grid, but you know the drill. We'll wait when the lights go out, and the lights are out now, so we'll hang over to one side and let Cohen Hightower, etc. pass us through. My goodness, they did not hesitate. They were... Oh, actually, Milton Alvarez Perez is behind us, but he was too slow. He's missed his opportunity. Let's go for it. Into Jin 1 for turn 2. Must say, just notice again, it's raining once more. Well, at least it's a wet track, so there's a chance that this could dry up. We are still on the wet tyres, still not being on the slicks yet with this bike. As we have a very, very tight couple of section of corners here. Love riding here, actually. He used to be one of those... Oh, contact made there from Zhang Yi and Cohen Hightower. In fact, Zhang Yi was on the outside. Cohen Hightower on the out on the other outside. Not sure it is in the middle. Is that Isabel de Kock who's on the orange bike? It's actually Yuki Uchimura. That's not a too bad of a pronunciation, I'm sure. So, oh, I definitely thought about going up on the inside of Barrianto 2. Didn't happen, though. As we go around the outside, on board the Martini Ducati. Thrashing through the streets. Zipping past. And wait for you to see that blue truck there. See that blue truck in your right? Use that as a braking marker. When the game actually renders that in, and it loads in, that's when it is wise to brake. So bear that in mind. It's Chester Anderson and Adriana Garrido. Leading this Grand Prix. We're already up to third place in just, wow, in just one lap. That was pretty fast, if I do say so myself. So this was one of those tracks, uh, especially on Ride 2, if I remember right, because I, I played Ride 2 the most, well, maybe not anymore since I played Ride 4 to death, and I played like 100, and, I think I've done 100 plus videos now on Ride 4. Kanto was one of those tracks on Ride 2 that I always used to sort of dread, but now in Ride 4, I absolutely adore it. I love racing here, I think it's fantastic. Whether it might be the south course, the north course, or even just the full track. I'm a big fan of this track. I think it's fantastic. Now, usually road tracks aren't my thing, but I do like Kanto. I've got a lot of time for it. As we enter turn two for the second time of asking. Careful not to slide the rear too much there, because of course we are running zero traction control. So it is a little bit difficult to keep the bike from squirming and squiggling on that one. So we now enter turn four. Could definitely line up Chester Anderson for a lunge up on the inside. You bet. That's what we did. We're running a little bit deep. Nope, Chester Anderson can't compete with that. Shout out to Chester Anderson. Shout out to Johnny Glamour as well. Another classic British rider. Absolute dude. And you know what's coming next. Say it with me. On the count of three. One. Two. Three. Boojang Bengana. <laughs> Why isn't Boojang Bengana on this again? Not seen the old Boojang in ages. But anyway, back to business as Adriana Garrido is going to be overtaken here up into turn 9 for City 1. That is gorgeous. Adriana can't do anything about that. As we'll now slide it up into the corner. Oh, a brilliant defensive move from Adriana Gar Garrido. The block pass. Oh, I'm impressed. Give that Spanish lady a shout out. Adriana Garrido. That was fantastic. That is racing at its finest. You know, I was taking it relatively smooth in there because, well, there's no need for me to just absolutely thrash it around this track. Not when the AI is not that competitive, but I like to give her a little bit of a chance or an overtake every now and again. So I'm impressed on that one. So good stuff from the Spanish lady. From Alcaneith. For some reason, that yeah, we'll say she's from Alcaneith. Why not? Alcanitz, depending where you're from. <laughs> so we hold it into turn two. Half past two here, 25 degrees here in Japan. Lovely weather. Apart from it uh, 
raining earlier, but I actually don't mind the rain. Never have done. I don't mind racing in the rain as well. As we go around the outside. That is good defence from Adriana. Very impressed here from the Spaniard. She is racing extremely well. She wants to collect, claim that Bujang Bingana trophy. It's got to be happening sooner or later. Can we make the move up on the inside? Not quite. Again, excellent defence from Adriana. We know we are very strong going into City 1. Yeah, we're going to have to go for here. Turn 9. Around the outside. Look for that blue van. Blue van is there. Slowly break it in. Shout out to that blue van. I bet it was Boujang's house. Does he hold it right for City 1? And then, of course, for City 2. Absolutely nailed. Turn to Oh, contact! What is that? Oh, Adriana! Adriana, you didn't. You didn't, Adriana. Adriana, why? Why would you do that? It worked the first time, but it wasn't going to work the second time. Oh, my goodness. Not even on the penultimate lap, and Adriana is giving me the big don't argue, the big shove into the barrier. Oh, my goodness. Adriana, why? Take a shot every time I've said Adriana, and then you will be drunk. Oh, my goodness. Why, Adriana, why? What was that? <laughs> no time to complain. Excluding the uh, 40 seconds or so of me screaming Adriana. So into turn two on the penultimate lap. Jean won. Chester Anderson up the road by about eight tenths of a second. I'm sure we can chase him down. It's not a matter of uh, panicking. It's a matter of staying calm. Focusing on the task at hand. Using this Ducati to his everything it's got. Using it for its best of its abilities. And that is on the straight. So wait for the moment to arise. And then we'll attack. So poor old Chester Anderson thought his Christmas has come early. And then the rude awakening of the inside goes, Nope, Santa Claus is not real. And you will not be getting a victory this Christmas. Suck on that one. As we go up on the inside. And we're now leading this Canto Grand Prix. Flick it left for Barry and Tau 2. And already on the penultimate lap. We're already leading this Grand Prix. Now we need to get away from Chester. Because I really don't fancy a Chester slash Adriana move. Which is a block pass slash attack. I don't fancy that, as uh, Chester Anderson's not going to go all ninja guide none as and pushes into the wall. I think not. As we hold it right now for City 2, good stuff. Keep an eye out for that cameraman on the left, sure, he always gets good pictures and then that one she didn't even bother. Good effort though, as we hold it right. Get ready to flick it left in just a moment's time, break early. Break early and gentle, as we flick it left for turn 11. And then begin to gradually lean to the right. For turn 12, brilliant stuff. And the lead is already at two seconds. Oh my goodness. We've absolutely decimated the field here. Poor old Adriana. Still on the podium though, so shout out to Adriana again. Doing a damn fine job after a tech and move. Where she decided to Paul Phoenix throw me into the wall. They could go on all day with those. Oh, slight. Ooh. Steady. Enough about tech and concentrating the race here, I think. Because uh, I'm going to slide out there. Slid out, I guess, would be the English term to use. Slide it out. I don't think... Is that slide it out? Is the wrong word, I think. Slid out. I don't know. Turn left for turn five and crack on with the race. As we are leading by a whopping two and a half seconds. So this is Curtains. This has been a fantastic Grand Prix. With a fantastic bike. I think I mentioned that a couple of times. But I do think that this is going to be one of my go-to bikes. I am so impressed with this bike. Really really enjoyable bike to use that is a lot of bikes in one sentence I I'm enjoying it, definitely uh, of course the livery just makes it even more special so once again thank you Sergio if you do want me to feature any of your liveries let me know in, in either the discord server or the comment section so let me know either in the comment section or the discord server and I can check it out by uh, searching your name on Ride 4 anyone have any issues online actually with the milestone service for some reason I keep getting a lot of um, errors if that's just me, hopefully not. I'll try and contact them and see if they can fix it, but I don't know if they'll actually reply like they didn't last time. Well, guys, that is going to be another very successful victory. And I really, really enjoyed using this bike and really enjoyed these two Grand Prix. Full of carnage and chaos. Exactly what we love here. So what a brilliant video. So guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, please like, comment and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you can be alerted to every single Dot Trace upload. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys, and ciao for now. Oh, hi. Didn't quite see you there. 
good to see you're still here. If this video didn't quite set your appetite, then why not watch some more Dot Trace content by clicking the video shown on screen now. Furthermore, if you would like to follow me on social media, you can do so now with the links down in the description. Consider subscribing so you don't miss a single Dr. Ace video.